Hey everybody, my name is Sol from Dual GM and welcome to a tutorial on how to make Tarkov kind of movement, which I especially mean when you scroll up, you go faster, when you scroll downwards, you go slower. So let me really quickly launch up 4.20 and make a new project. I'm just gonna go with the first person Actually, let's go with the third person and let's call it Talk of Movement and let's create a project. After we create our project, we want to head it over to Edit, Project Settings, go over into Input and we want action mappings which we want two of which one be scroll up and one be scroll down oh, please let me change it thank you and scroll wheel up and the other one will be wheel down after we done this we can go into blueprints and go into our character. And what we want to do first now is we want to get scroll up, scroll down. And on scroll up, we want to, first of all, we need a new integer, which we're going to call change movement speed and we're gonna drag it in and we're gonna clamp it from minimum value which is one to maximum value which is eight so we're gonna have eight steps in our movement change so now we can say we want to select from that actually we don't, we want to just, first of all, set our speed. And we don't want to do this. We want to minus, uh, we want a plus on here. So we want to hit plus, plus one. Then we can do the same down here. And just this time with plus minus one. Now, after we've done this, we want a custom event and we're going to call this change movement, movement speed. Okay. Um, switch movement speed then. There we go. And we want an input for character movement. So let's get a reroute node here and just plug it in here. And what we want to do now is set this, well, it depends. If you want a multiplier game, then I recommend you to set this on run on server. If you don't, you don't really have to add this pin. You can just drag it in and get the information from there. But if you're working on a multiplier game, do it how I'm doing it. So over here, we want to switch movement speed on both of those and we also want to set that var variable to replicate it if we want actually that doesn't need to be replicated we just need to parse in the information so let's make another reroute node and plug it right in here and just take the information from one of those let's make it look a bit more clean and on here, we're going to call this speed and we're going to call this character movement. And if we're going to go out here and do a select node, um, in this select node, I will set the speeds and let's set a set max walk speed. And let's plug this in. 
and we want how many do we have we have eight so currently we have six seven eight and now eight should be around 600 and let's make the six six uh, five fifty five hundred four fifty four hundred three fifty three hundred and the last one let's make it like really obvious like 50. so this should be working so let's start playing so we have our default speed if we scroll down we go way slower if we scroll up oh i forgot a value apparently let me fix that so we are eight one to eight oh you want zero to seven not one point one to eight my mistake but if we head on over again we scroll up we walk faster if we scroll down we walk slower and we can even really quickly print out the movement speed so if we do a print string here we can print out the actual speed so we're gonna go from now it's six seven seven and we can go down again six five four three two one and zero what we can also do that if we now launch it with two players the it properly replicates so if i'm oh did i forget to do something i think i need to forgot to set this to component replicates there we go and now i can head on into the game and i can change my value as it's so yeah everything is working now it works now with replication i just forgot to do a little thing i showed you in a second what it actually was but like you see on the first client on the second it works perfectly and yeah i can easily change walk speed on runtime and and if I actually go back into the blueprint, I can show you what I forgot. So we need two events on the client. Because like we saw before, if I, for example, unhook this and I try to move a second client and I move in front of him or I let him look at me, on his side, everything works fine, but I haven't set it on the client. So this is what I'm doing right here on set on client. So it gets set on the client. So it's replicated on the server and the client. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you run into any issues, let me know. But with this said, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I wish you see you next time.